I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope. I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food. Singing songs of freedom and glory. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffrage. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan. Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Just a little further, please. Why ever have you stopped? Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down! Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, you tried, you tried. Oh. Oh. His philosophy hey. on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 
Earn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Come on, girl.
Hey, move it! Another day on the move. Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 